Hi everyone. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's currently Tuesday evening, and it's been a very very hot day. Um, right. Uh, purpose of this video is here. I have a box full of plastic tap, and just to do something a bit fun, I'm gonna go. Through, I'm gonna have a look at some of the stuff in here, and we're gonna have like a little chat about it, just to do something a bit different. This is all stuff I've collected over the past nearly 10 years. i spent a majority of time inside the box since then. Right, so, first thing. Uh, Power Rangers um, Samurai Red Ranger figure with arm, arm wind up. <laughs> How do I, let's have a look. Let's see what we get him. Yeah, I think he's supposed to be that way. Uh, yeah. I do also have the Mega Force one of these as well. I have red and black Mega Force. <laughs> I think, I think so, yeah, Samurai was the only one I've got. Uh, this was purchased uh, back in 2000 to 2013, I think, while Samurai was still airing on Nickelodeon. Um, found him in Toys R Us. Uh, yeah, so he just moves a bit like that. Right, what next? Uh, we'll find, see if I can find the collection of these. Ah, you know what? I've got these two for now. Let's talk about them. I have got the full collection of these, and they're probably in this box somewhere. But this is the pink and blue uh, Operation Overdrive figures. Pink and blue Oper Operation Overdrive, blue and pink ranger. And I've actually been watching a bit of that series today on Netflix. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see, it's supposed to kind of light up. Um, yep, so, oh, you may remember of a series called VR Troopers. Well, this is actually the character of Ryan Steele from that series, which is kind of a uh, Power Rangers-esque series that's abandoned. And I know at one point there were plans of bringing it into continuity with Power Rangers during Power Rangers Zero, but that idea was dropped because the actor Brad Hawkins, who played uh, Ryan, um, also played Trey in Power Rangers Zero. And what I know is is that the original idea was he was actually going to play the character Ryan from the VR Troopers series, and um, was going to then assume the Gold Ranger powers, and then that was changed. Right. See if I find something. I really don't know. Right, the the I have, I have a couple of these. This is the uh, I think this is the Drive Max cycle from Operation Overdrive. I have one of the little Red Ranger. I have the Red Ranger version. Yeah. Uh, thing is, there was no Operation Overdrive Green Ranger. Uh, but for some reason, I you know they've they've released one with the green. They've released one that's painted green. I'm not sure why. Very odd, considering there was no Green Ranger. You can see, you can just see there. You may be able to see the sort of painted uh, Operation of Driver uh, visor on the face. Um, but um, yeah, that is odd. No All right, let's. Um... Oh, I've got a couple of these. Ah, yes. Yeah. Here are another two Operation Overdrive figures. Uh, we have uh, yellow Operation Overdrive, red Operation Overdrive. Uh, see if we can. Don't know if he still lights up. It's supposed to light up when you press this button, but don't know if it does it anymore. Um, uh, old Smurfs McDonald's toy. <laughs> 
Spider-Man figure, uh, very articulative uh, Spider-Man figure with torn mask. <laughs> yeah, I think as I remember, I bought this. Um, I got this from a Christmas bazaar uh, back in 2007, some ten years ago. Um, RPM Black Ranger. RPM was a great series in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, little, uh, just a little Green Ranger sort of figure. There, yeah, I've got a collection of those. Um, yeah. so, uh, I find something. Uh, oh, Anakin Skywalker figure. <laughs> uh, yes, I think that's from. Uh, I think that might be from the Clone Wars series. Um, yeah, it looks uh, like it's from the Clone Wars. Um, ah! Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, uh, Chiller. Yes, yeah, chill the Chillers were Florius's minions in that series. And as I've seen, this one actually does still light up, so, um, yeah, his face lights up when you press the middle button there. <laughs> Alright. Ah, this was one of the very first Star Wars figures I actually bought. In fact, no, this was the very first Star Wars figure I actually had. It's Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing uh, uniform. Yeah. Uh, right. Little Red Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Micro Machine. I do remember buying these, having a good collection of these. Yeah. Wow. Something is actually something that actually I should just point out about this was that these bikes were never seen in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. These motorcycles were actually they were from the Zoo Ranger Sentai series, but these were never actually seen in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers television series. At some point later, they did have the Shark Cycles in season three, I think. But you know, this bike was only used was only from Sentai. That footage was actually never used in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, a bit of info there. Um, so, ah, Han Solo figure. Yes, I do remember this Han Solo figure is actually the Han Solo in Carbonite figure. I don't know where the Carbonite is that you actually just put over him, but um, yeah, I do remember. I do recognise the figure from that particular um, package. Um, there we go. RPM Blue Ranger, or Blue Ranger, or Engine Gatai Gawanja, as the Sentai is called. <laughs> RPM Yellow Ranger. Hmm, already done that. SPD, Red Ranger, yeah, um, yep, yeah, SPD once again was a great season, I think personally, this might have been the best season out of the Disney seasons, I think, yeah, SPD is probably my favourite from the Disney seasons, um, uh, for quite a few reasons, the story was good, the acting was pretty decent, um, the villains were pretty good, and, um, also the Zords were quite impressive, yeah, I did. Yeah, so that's SPD Red. Uh, what have we got? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Last of the Operation Overdrive collection. Operation Overdrive Black. And that one briefly does still light up. Right, I'm actually... This is one of my classic toys. I don't know if you remember, some of you may, might, you know, some people, you know, if, if you're any Jerry Anderson fans out there, you may remember of a series called Joe 90. Uh, it wasn't his most successful series, but it was it's all time, my all-time favourite Jerry Anderson series. Um, yeah, so I did like Captain Scarlet, Thunderbirds and Stingray, but Joe 90 has been my favourite since I was like four years old. I had 
I'd seen it on CBBC on Saturday mornings, and um, I watched it um, every week, and then I had the whole set on video, I had the whole series on video, and then for the last, uh, about the last 13 years, I've owned the series on DVD. And this, um, this is the car, uh, Joe's father's flying car, that can either work as a plane, or as a, it can be a car. And then you can simply, then he can simply get the wings out, boop, bump up the wheels, and it takes off and it can fly. <laughs> and if you look over, you can see a little sort of red Joe and Joe Knighty and his dad in the uh, inside the window there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, right. Well, Mystic Force, yes. Uh, hang on. See if I find my um, See if I can find my um, Well here we are, we have Mystic Force Pink Ranger and Mystic Force Yellow. Um, these were the first uh, Power Ranger figures I'd purchased in quite some time. I bought these back when Mystic Force was airing, I think during late 2006. Um, and they also, they all came with, each one came with, one of these kind of Mystic Force badges. And um, they, the button's pressing it somewhere, yeah, button here. Yeah, and it lights up like that, pretty good. Alright, what, um... Hmm. 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 So remember, I think this is from Power Rangers... Yes, this is from Power Rangers Megaforce. Um, this up uh, here... Yeah, uh, yep, this is Robo Knight from Mega Force. Uh, it's just a little Robo Knight figure, and then you have him in his um, his robot. Uh, this is just how to simply just put like a simple plastic coating of his robot form over him. So you just um, place them on. Uh, just like that. Pokemon figure there. Mm. <laughs> oh, look. There you go, Mystic Force Yellow. Oh no, 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 it's not Mystic Force, it's a uh, Jungle Fury, sorry, yeah, Jungle Fury Yellow. Yes. <laughs> That's a Jungle Fury and uh, Yellow Ranger. Do -do 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 -do. Um. Uh, yeah, this is one of the yes, one of the Jungle Fury uh, Spirit Rangers, and. Uh, yeah, uh, something I should just say about this is apparently the I know that these had no Sentai counterpart in the show. Um, these were all completely American creations for the Power Rangers though, for the Power Rangers um, series. So yeah, the, the Spirit Rangers were all American creation. <laughs> Star Wars, this is a part, I think, yeah, this is a pilot for the um, Atats, the Imperial Atats, both in the Empire Strikes Back for the, for the Imperial, four-legged Imperial Walkers, and in Return of the Jedi for the two-legged Imperial Walkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, um, 
Django effect. I can't remember if this is the Django effect figure I got when Star Wars Episode 2 actually first came out, or if it's the one I bought um, back in 2012, back in London. Uh, yes, I'm aware that I've had two Django Fett figures. Mm. He's a bit tangled up there with this stuff, but um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, little, uh, little sort of ghoul figure. I think, yeah, I collected these from Poundland. Mm. Sort of like World of Warcraft knockoffs. <laughs> mm. Right, we'll do one more, I think. One more. Ah, yes. Uh, I'm quite think. I think yeah, this one. Uh, no, since I don't can't remember where that's from. I won't talk about it. Uh, let's just do one more. Yeah, let's do one more for you. Mm, one more for you. Ah, little red Tyrannosaurus sword. Mighty Muffin Power Rangers. Little micro machine. I remember buying these from Woolworths when I was about five, six years old. And they were a pound each. You got you got the Zord and a little red and a little Ranger pl plastic Ranger in with the pack. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, right. I will talk about this. Right. As you can see, this figure's this little guy's missing his arm, one of his ar his uh, left arm. But this was actually Servo from the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad series, which was um, a Tokusatsu, which was a US adaptation of the Tokusatsu series created by a rival company to Saban um, called Subaraya Productions. And they, um, yeah, basically they created a superhuman samurai cyber squad to, um, to basically just cash in on the popularity of Power Rangers. And, um, yeah, personally, it wasn't a very good series, but one thing that was one thing that people do remember about the series was that Tim Curry vo voiced the main villain Keela Khan, and um, yeah, so that yeah, the, which is basically like this little um, computer virus that was basically this, Keela Khan was this um, sort of a computer virus that uh, um, couldn't create um, anything, being he is only a computer virus. He had the ability to bring things to life, so he. Um, Rec yeah, he recruited uh, Sam's arch nemesis, uh, Malcolm Frank, to uh, create uh, computer viruses. Then he would bring Keela Khan would bring them to life, and then um, that would be the monster that uh, Servo would have to stop. <laughs> and from it, yeah. Uh, I admit, I do remember watching that series and liking it. I've watched, I've rewatched it again fairly recently. Mm. Mm. Uh, ah, Mystic Force Green. Yeah. <laughs> right, um. I know that there was something a certain was in here, but, um. Twentieth anniversary edition Red Ranger figure, um, and it's currently stuck. It's tied up. It's tangled up with Django Effect. So I'm just gonna see on the string. Up there. I purchased this in New York. It doesn't have all his armor on him at the minute. It comes with the Dragon Shield. Um, and also with the dragon dagger, but he's got his blade blaster there in his hand. Um, I've probably, yeah, I think I've probably got the um, the other bits, the golden shield somewhere. 
Right then, right, so now I can put this back. Uh, uh, yeah, finally, Mystic Force Blue. <laughs> right, well, um, so yeah, that was just a bit of a trip down memory lane, a plastic tap for me. Um, so, um, right, um, I will probably either be back on Friday uh, this week or over the weekend. It will most likely be just to do a catch-up vlog, just an update vlog this week. I don't think there'll be much in the way of purchases, because um, over the past few weeks we've had a, quite a lot of new purchases. So I'm going to take it easy for a bit. Um, but anyways, as usual, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.